A look tonight at the five pit bulls that authorities say turned on their owners. They're still in quarantine at the animal shelter while an investigation is underway. 24 Hour News 8's Emily Zangaro is live at the animal shelter now with an update on this. Emily? Brian, right now it's too early to tell what will happen with the dogs. The animal shelter says the investigation will look at everything from the history of the dogs and the owners to the severity of the injuries. Timid and a bit shy, five pit bulls remain in quarantine inside the Kent County Animal Shelter. Well, I think the experience is probably traumatic for them, you know, as well as the people involved. So there's probably a certain amount of spillover from that because it was fairly recently that all of this went down. The faces were a bit different just one day ago. Chained and barking, one running around with her tail wagging. Kentwood police say the owners of the dogs, Christopher Griffin and Jacqueline Potts, were living in their SUV. On Sunday, police say the couple was visiting friends at a Kentwood apartment complex when the dogs got into a fight. The owners tried to break it up, but the dogs turned on them. A couple of them are really very, very aggressive. In fact, the one that was the most aggressive is the one that did this baby to me right here. Al Griffin, the father of one of the owners, was there. He says he came to the apartment to help his son, who had run out of gas. That's when things went bad. Yeah, I've been on the ground. We have my foot. It was actually... Whip, he was actually whipping me back and forth. Griffin says he's warned his son about the dogs, especially putting all five in the back seat of the SUV. The program director of the animal shelter says they don't discriminate against breeds. What happened was not a direct result of the temperament of pit bulls. She says any group of dogs would be vulnerable under the circumstances. It's pretty safe to say that any five dogs, if you stick them in a vehicle as their living arrangement um, and put them in that type of situation for you know an extended period of time, they're competing for space, food, attention. They have the you know a pretty high likelihood of having that type of negative outcome that we saw here. Again, an investigation is pending. Then they will know if the dogs can be adopted or if they will have to be euthanized. Reporting live in Grand Rapids, Emily Zangaro, 24-Hour News 8.